I'm Dana and we're back with another body doubling video. For anybody new, the point of these videos, which get less than a quarter of my regular engagement of other videos, I, I put stuff away, I tidy up a bit. <laughs> I want to do them tidying up a bit. So far they are just me putting my clothes away. And it's just me rambling and yattering and going on and on and on and not shutting up so that you have a bit of entertainment and motivation to get your thing done. So I uh, see the reason I've continued doing these beyond it gets my laundry done is that although we get much less engagement in terms of like views and likes, they get, I don't, I mean, they also get less comments to be fair, but the comments that I get from people are like, thank you. I just managed to do my dishes. I just showered. I just did this. And I love the idea of us just getting stuff done together. It's just so cute and it's so enjoyable. And I just, I, I see, you know, the whole point of my channel is that I'm hopefully like helping people out a little bit. And it's the most like physical, obvious, like I am a little bit, you know, people are getting stuff done with me. So that's what this is. Let's, let's actually talk about some interesting things, I guess. This should actually be an interesting one because if you've watched any of my other content, you should know by now that I'm about to go to America. I will be there as you're watching this, in fact. I've been a real YouTuber and scheduled and pre-filmed a whole bunch of stuff so that you will continue to get normal content. And then after like a couple of weeks there, the scheduled stuff will run out and that's when you'll start getting like me on a plane and me in America, hopefully. I'm intending to vlog lots and lots of stuff and make lots and lots of content about it. But I also know that I'm going to be very anxious and stressed and you know, it's all going to be a lot. And I do think I'm going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a really exciting, cool time. But I also know that I'm probably going to be quite overwhelmed with a lot of things. And I don't know how comfortable I would be with like, here's me having a meltdown on a plane, you know? But also, I don't often get the chance to travel and I feel like it'll be nice to be able to like offer a bit of insight into travelling and trying to like not be too overwhelmed and not let it get to you too much while autistic. I'm hoping it'll be like an interesting fun time, honestly. I'm hoping that I cope with it well enough. But that's, that's the scary part. Let's talk about the exciting stuff. So we are flying out to LAX. That's so exciting for me. I'm gonna hop off the plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. It's gonna be so fun. Like that's what's keeping me like thinking that I'm gonna be mostly all right, you know? I, it's very brief moments that I'm worried about. And then I'm like unbearably excited to get off a plane at LAX. So we land there. It's me and my best friend that are going. And we, when we land, their cousin will be picking us up, possibly with their partner. And we're going to be staying with them for, I think six days we're in California, which is insane, it's crazy. And while we're there, we have a whole bunch of fun stuff planned. I'm gonna get to see the Hollywood sign. I'm going to get to go to Disneyland. We've planned a Disney bound. We're all gonna go as Toy Story characters. I also convinced everyone that we needed to go on the Warner Brothers tour as well as to Universal. I didn't do the Universal convincing, that was just we're going to Universal. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that is or entails to be honest, I assume it's something to do with movies because of Universal and I'm always down for some movie bullshit. But I also convinced them that we needed to go on the Warner Brothers tour while we're there because then I get to go to Stars Hollow. I'm so excited. I only started watching Gilmore Girls because one of my friends is really into it and wanted to watch it with me and I was like, you know what? I've always sort of intended to watch Gilmore Girls. I've definitely seen the first couple of episodes here and there. I'm just gonna watch it. Turns out I absolutely love it. And I do think a large part of it's that I'm watching it with someone who loves it and their passion's like rubbed off a bit. But I also, I don't care where the passions come from. I love it. I, it's one of my new favorite shows. It's a fantastic little show. I love Kurt so much. I love Luke so much. I really couldn't care less about Lola or Rory, to be honest. I love Emily though. Emily is everything. <laughs> So we're gonna go on the Warner Brothers tour and get to go to Stars Hollow and they have like an exclusive coffee that's like Luke's coffee. So I'm gonna buy some of that hopefully. I'm very, very excited. We're going to somewhere called Wacko's. I don't know what that is. We're gonna have a beach day. I'm gonna be in the warm California sun, having fun, 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 just like the Ramones. I do have a playlist of just like any song that I know that mentions America or California. And I'm very excited to blast it constantly. And then after our couple of days in California, 
California. We're getting a flight to Phoenix, Arizona. None of these places are real to me yet. That's that's a big thing as well, is that America is movies to me, okay? Like that as like as much as I like know that America is a real place, don't get me wrong, it's also like I've only seen it in movies, I've only seen it on TV. It feels like it's actually just a lot somewhere down south where they film things, you know? Like, it, I don't fully have the concept of it actually being a real place. So when my friends were like, we're going to fly to Phoenix, Arizona, I was like, oh my God, that's where Bella runs away from Alice and Jasper. <laughs> so I will be going to the bathroom in that airport and being like, why is there not a vampire here ready to bite me? Maybe not even bite me, just romance me for a little while. I don't want to be immortal anymore. I really liked the idea of being immortal as a kid. I was like, you can see everything, you can work on everything, you can do this and this and this. If you told me now that I was immortal, I'd be like, no, mate, I can't be. Don't do that to me. That's a bit much. So when we land in California, no, when we land... So when we land in Arizona, that's where I'm meeting my best friend's other best friend, who I've been talking to online for the longest time, because, like, they're my best friend's other best friend. And this feels honestly a bit more like I'm going to be meeting their family than meeting their actual family in California. Because, like, I vaguely, like, I've never met, like, an internet friend, you know? Like, I've never really had close internet friends. Oh, God, that's a lie. There was that one guy I messed up, met up with and then had to make a whole video warning people about people taking advantage of autistic people. So there was that. But, you know, like, I've never had a friend that I've spoken to for, like, months and months and months and lives really far away. And then all of a sudden it's become an actual opportunity to be able to meet them, you know? Like, I did not expect to meet her when I started being in a group chat with her and talking to her and shit, you know? So it's absolutely wild, but we're gonna be staying with her and her partner. And I'm so excited to get to like, see, that's the thing is like, I'd be excited to stay in hotels, don't get me wrong, but hotels like weird me out the way there's like hundreds of other people and they've all like been in your bed and sh or I, I don't really like hotels very much. I'd have dealt with it, but I don't like them. I'm much more comfortable staying in houses. And I'm really, really excited to get to stay in American houses. They look so like big and fancy and cool. And we're gonna get to go to like Walmart and Target and Hobby, I don't know, Michael's, is that what it is? The hobby, play like craft places in the US? I'm gonna go to a Hot Topic. I am so excited to go to Hot Topic. I heard about Hot Topic when I was like maybe 12. It was while I lived in Denmark and I spent hours and hours and hours just going onto the Hot Topic site and adding all of the things that I would buy if I could actually order from there or had any money or whatever else you know so i do have like a little lump of my savings that i know i'm just gonna spend in hot topic and i'm really hoping to pick up some twilight merch i won't lie i also really want to go thrifting the idea of being an american thrift store is so exciting to me but because we're in arizona we also have some really fun day trips planned so i'm gonna be going to some sort of like game con I don't know, they said that they wanted me to see like a big American event and I was like, yeah, I wanna see a big American event. So we're going to like some sort of convention. There's also a Ren Fair that's on while we're there. So I think I'm gonna get to go to a Ren Fair and that's incredibly exciting to me. I've always wanted to go to a Ren Fair. Oh, while we're in California, we're gonna get to go to an improv show as well. And I've never been to an improv show. And the idea of seeing like little LA, like not quite made it yet actors is so exciting to me. I feel like it's gonna be really cool and really fun and I'm really looking forward to it. But while we're in Arizona, we also have the Ren Fair and we're gonna to go to Tombstone, Arizona, which is like a cowboy town. I don't know how you'd describe them to be honest with you, but it was mentioned in Doctor Who in the 60s and that made me very excited. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that if we have the time, the friends that we're staying with are around I think they said they're about a four hour drive from, oh, I did Google it, but a certain dam, which is where Rory happened to die in an episode of Doctor Who. Um, sometimes I'm like, nah, I'm pretty chill about Doctor Who being my special interest. And then other times I'm like, so I'm going to America and I'm going to force these Americans to take me to a place that was used to film in Doctor Who. And also here's the Doctor Who t-shirt that I got in Cardiff when I was like 14. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not like desperate for it i get that it is just a dam and they just filmed a scene there and it is like a four or five hour drive but also i feel like we could make a day trip out of it if we don't have other stuff going on while we're out there there is also like the main reason we're going is that my best friend is an american i don't know how that happened i didn't ask it to i'm kidding americans are fine i just we have the banter of it you know i'm used to having them there and being like Ugh, americans and then being like Ugh, you but yeah 
That made me completely lose my train of thought. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was talking about now. No, it's gone. I truly don't know what I was talking about there, to be completely honest. But we're also not going to be super far from the Grand Canyon. So we're going to go to the Grand Canyon. And that's wild to me. That's another thing where I'm like, I knew it was real. Don't get me wrong. I knew realistically, logically that it was a real place. I, again, I'm not going to believe that it's real until I'm there. The Grand Canyon. People talk about that all the time. It's I was going to say it's like one of the seven wonders of the world. I don't think it is. But, you know, like, it's a very, like, impressive, amazing thing that's always been very, very far away from me. And it's wild to be like, oh, that's just going to, it's just going to be a drive away. We're just going to drive to it. It's fine. I think that's one of the things that's really going to weird me out, to be honest, is that the we're, we're going to be driving everywhere, you know? Like, the people we're staying with have cars. And, like, I know people do have cars in the UK, don't get me wrong, but I don't really know people with cars. Like, I walk everywhere, I'll get public transport. And there's been places that I've been like, oh, well, I could go here and do this thing on my own on this, like, day off if you wanted. And they're like, well, you wouldn't be able to get there. And I'm like, well, I could walk. It's only this far. And they're like, it's just freeway, though. Like, there's no path. You can't walk there. And I'm like, what do you mean there's places that you just can't walk to? That's crazy. That's insane. And, like, I believe them. I don't think they're lying to me or anything, but I'm just like... Why would you build a place where you can't walk between places? What about the poor people that can't afford cars? I don't... I can't wrap my head around it. I think there's going to be so much stuff in America that is just a massive culture shock. And as much as I'm saying that now and obviously have some, like, understanding of that, I don't think it'll fully hit me until we're there because I do see it as being, like, quite similar to us because because we're English-speaking languages and we went and, you know, they're mostly originated from us, aren't they? Aren't they? Is that another thing? But yeah, there's loads of like really random little things that I want to do because like I desperately wanted to go to America as a kid and then like I was probably like 14 or 15 when I started to be like, oh, I don't think my life's going the way that I want it to. I don't think I'm actually going to get to do lots of these big things that I really want to do, you know? Like you've got to get realistic at some point and I was like, I don't think that's going to happen. So like I really... I'm gonna be wearing Teen Spirit deodorant the whole time we're there and anyone who asks or like in, in any way that I can shove it into a conversation I will be like I smell like Teen Spirit right now that's for sure I want to drink a big gulp I don't know what it is I'm not entirely sure how I go about drinking a big gulp but I want a big gulp I want to be slushied the slushies that they threw at each other in Glee look like a completely different consistency to any slushy that I've ever seen here and I want to know what that feels like on my face I want to be slushed I really want to go thrifting. That's a really big one. I think that might be what I was going to talk about before. I really desperately want to go thrifting and try to find some, like, cool American vintage clothes. Because it's the kind of shit that, like, does come up over here. And they're, like, this plaid shirt with 17 holes in it that's more, like, falling apart than it is actual fabric. But it's an American import, so that's going to be 70 quid. I'm just not doing it. I don't care. But if I can go there and just get it myself from a thrift store because we do thankfully have checked bags for on the way back we don't on the way there it's carry on only on the way there so we're gonna have to buy all the bits that we need for like through the month which i'm not looking forward to i you know like i haven't like figured out my hair i will give that like it's often quite frizzy or lank or just doing something i don't want it to but i am quite specific about like the hair and body products that i use and like I'm, I'm not really, I'm not like brand loyal or anything, but I also, you know, I know what I like. I know I, there's certain smells, just like all sorts of different like little sensory bits to it. Where if it's not right, it's so not right. I know it will drive me mad and I won't like it at all. So I am a bit worried about having to like buy all of my products there, but that's, I'm going to try and make it fun. I think I'm going to try and enjoy it. I'm going to try and just enjoy the change and the differences and getting to experience something in some way that I haven't experienced before. I don't have nearly enough hangers for all of my clothes. How's that happened? I haven't bought any new clothes recently. Three hangers and like half a basket of clothes still. And some of them are pajamas, but some of these are tops that I just definitely don't have enough hangers for. I don't understand. Nothing's shitter than getting halfway through doing something and be like, I can't do this in the way that I usually do things aren't going to work out and now I have to reschedule and come up with a new plan and I fucking hate it like it shouldn't take this much brain power just to put my fucking laundry away guys how's everyone else doing can I get an update are you 
doing something you were trying to do, doing something you thought you'd have done already by now. I thought I was going to do this a little while ago, but this is probably going to be the last time I do it before I go to the US, to be fair, because I'm going in six days now. Uh, I'm going to do a packing video soon, I think. So, like, I was going to be like, so this can stay out. I'm not packing very much and I'm packing for hot weather. This is not going to be the types of clothing that I'm taking with me anyway. That's another thing I'm worried about because I thought that LA would be, you know, hot all the time. And then the person we're staying with was like, oh, it's not really warm enough to swim right now. And I'm like, what do you mean? Is it not hot? I thought it was a hot place. I've been thinking I'm going to be packing shorts and t-shirts. If I need to like bring actual pants and stuff, like that needs to be a discussion. Like it doesn't need to be a discussion, but you know, like I, sh it's something I need to Google is what we're really saying here. That's four t-shirts with three hangers. I'm gonna have to fold this top, but that's okay because it's an underlayer. But yeah, like I'm fish, I'm used to needing underlayers. I need to know what I'm meant to be wearing there. And also it's the thing of like, I know y'all have air conditioning. So I don't want to be like, oh, I'm a perfect temperature, my little shorts and t-shirt, and then walk into a shop or something and be like, oh, I'm ice cold because there's air conditioning everywhere. I don't understand how it all works. Another fucking t-shirt. The rest of this is underwear and socks, so at least we've got that. I can find, we, we'll, we're, we're gonna figure it out, is what we're saying here. It's going to be figured out. Right, I know that I put more time than I necessarily need to into pairing my socks, but I've had multiple friends mention to me that they don't pair their socks up, they just throw them all in. And I can't, oh, it makes me feel a little bit sick, the idea of doing that. I could not do that. And it's one of those things where like, I definitely used to, I definitely have not always sorted my fucking socks. But at some point I started, and I could not go back now. It's so much easier to get up in the morning and be able to just throw on a pair that's already paired up and you know which socks you're getting, you know? I think that's also probably because I'm very specific about what kind of socks I like to wear. Unless they're pretty. If there's a cute pattern on them, I don't care how uncomfortable they are. I'll be like, yeah, but look at them. A lot of these also have holes in them, completely honest with you. And that's, it's not good. But, I mean, I also always have like a few that aren't paired. So like, I'm not doing it properly, don't worry, I'm not. I'm not any better than anybody else, okay? Just because I do the incredibly difficult job of pairing up my socks. Okay, we've got three hangers and five t-shirts. Bastard. I don't understand how it's happened. Oh, we found another hanger right off the bat. Okay, this is an under top, so we can just fold that up and see the hanger. And then all of a sudden, everything's sorted and okay. Isn't that just, look at us working off of routine and having to improvise and make do, don't we feel just fine about it? As I've said before, and I'm sure we'll go on to say a million times more, the main thing I'm worried about while I'm gone is my cats. Like, I've got people that I trust completely to come in and look after them. I know realistically in my little head that they're going to be absolutely fine. They probably, let's face it, they probably won't even notice that they're fucking, I'm fucking gone. Like, they are much more part of my routine than I am of theirs, really. Yeah, I don't know. See, I'm, I always, like, I feel like people don't treat animals with, like, enough, like, empathy and thought and care and, you know, I don't want to, like, overly humanise them, but I also, like, you know, I do think they like me. Like, I'm sorry. I know that it's really annoying when people are like, my cats love me. But, like, I do, I do think that Otis loves me. I think that Ali, you know, she deals with me a lot. I don't think she dislikes me. I hope she does like me actively. But, you know, like, I don't know. I'm just worried that they, like, emotionally won't be okay. And I feel like it is kind of silly, but I also am really worried about it. I don't know. I also feel like while I'm in the US, I'm going to take all of my Doctor Who t-shirts with me and just wear them all the time because it's so weird to me that I'm going to be in America. They're just the place that make like horrible versions of my favourite TV shows. Oh my god, I haven't mentioned this in a YouTube video yet. So, I recently did a rewatch of Ashes to Ashes and Life on Mars and a lot happened there. I feel like I have finally understood what happened in Ashes to Ashes and finally like truly understand the universe and like I honestly might do a theory video about it. I feel like I actually get it now and I've read like everyone else's theories online and on Reddit and shit 
and they they're so close and I was with them entirely until like two days ago but now I think I get it and, and we weren't quite right but I'm also nervous to share in case people pick it apart and tell me I'm wrong when I feel like really settled in thinking that I've got it but yeah so I was what I've <laughs> so yeah I rewatched Life on Mars and then as I was about to watch Ashes, Ashes to Ashes the site that I was watching it on was like hey why don't you watch Life on Mars but I looked at it and I was like that's not Life on Mars that's Harvey Keitel <laughs> like this isn't the thing but like it was and I was like no no they haven't they had they'd made an American version of Life on Mars and I watched the first maybe 20 minutes of the first episode and when I tell you I have not laughed like that in such a long time like him because it's it's like step for step the same as the UK one all the same things are happening same lines are being used okay some oh I hated it hearing the lines that I'm used to like John Sim or Philip Grandfield or like you know my nice northern British men hearing what they would say but in an American accent was one of the most haunting things that has ever happened to me in time oh I hated it I truly truly hated it and I was like sort of like watching it in pure terror and horror and then it gets to the bit where Sam's finally back in the 70s sorry to anyone that's, that wasn't expecting spoilers from this but Sam's finally back in the 70s it's the same as like in the UK one where the police officer interrupts him he sees the Bowie tape and he like ducks down behind the car and then in the UK one Sam turns around and sees a factory block of that he knows of as a block of flats something like that he sees like a landmark that makes him know that it's the 70s and in the American one set in New York City their American Sam Tyler turns around and looks up and has this look on his face and then finally the audience sees that he's looking at the Twin Towers. I I can't explain what it is about it that just I find it so fucking hilarious and it it was one of those things where I paused it and I was like this is what they're doing this is what they've gone for people made this decision and then created this thing and it went through all the processes for me to see it now and it's the funniest thing that I've ever fucking looked at but also I hate it entirely and I did not watch it past that point okay I'm real quickly I was gonna say we're done because I am organized but my bedding's here so I am very gonna quit quiver oh god if I could only fucking speak guys maybe I could have a fucking career if I could only get words out of my goddamn motherfucking mouth I, I never say motherfucking and it always feels like really aggressive when I do but yeah I'm just gonna fold this while I'm still with you and then I'm getting off I'm gonna go and I need to go to Asda and buy stuff so that I can eat and that's like the most annoying thing ever so yeah we're folding I, I'm just narrating what I'm doing now because I've said like all the little things that I sort of planned to say in this as well as going off script and talking about life on Mars but it's just the best show and see life on mars isn't the best show in the world ashes to ashes its sequel is the best show in the world and then doctor who and then i'd probably say the x-files to be fair and then probably a couple of other things that i'm not haven't fixated on recently but will come back again and then life on mars i really 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 like life on mars but i don't think it's i don't love it as much as i love other things essentially it's not that it's worse than them it's just that my autistic brain latches onto certain things and Alex Drake is way better than Sam Tyler. I will argue that with anyone. I won't necessarily argue that Ashes to Ashes is a better show overall. I love it more. I think it's way better, but I know that that's my personal biases. But I will absolutely argue that Alex Drake's more interesting and cool and a better character than Sam Tyler. And yeah, do with that what you will. Oh my God, am I going to actually make a part of this video useful? Because... I, I've started doing the thing that used to get shown on Pinterest all the time. So maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just regurgitating stuff that other people say. But I've started doing the thing of, because I have like my little bed sets that I use, where I like, I like to always use the same sheet with the same duvet with the same pillowcases. So I fold them all up together and then put them in one of the pillowcases so it's all just together and I can shove it wherever for when I need to change my bed. It's, like I said, I saw it on Pinterest years ago and I've, I've stuck with it. I did previously just put them all in a box under my couch but now I don't like having to go into the shared spaces of my home so we do this instead and it works as well as it can be expected to I hate folding big things oh, my 
arms are tired. <laughs> like, come on, give me a break. Oh shit, that's what I was going to talk about before. The main reason we're going to America is that my best friend's American and their dad died a little while ago, which is obviously very sad. I don't know why I said it like that. My dad's dead too. Like, I'm not just being a bitch. I do get it. But yeah, their dad died a while ago and their stuff's still there. Like, their stuff that was their dad's that's now theirs. So we need to, like, repackage it and put it into a... I think we're putting it into one of those, like, big giant metal containers, honestly, to, like, ship it across, like, some sort of Titanic bullshit. Very... I was going to say very exciting, but honestly, that's going to be by far the least exciting and most worky part of the trip. Like, that's the work, you know? I'm going to have to be carrying and moving and lifting things. And that's why I got a free plane ticket. <laughs> Like, get you friends that will take you on amazing trips for a bit of free manual labour. It's so worth it. But yeah, the, the handful of you that actually watch these videos now know more about it all than everyone else does. So that's your little treat for being the people that actually come and watch these and get your stuff done. You should, hopefully. I mean, this is about how long they usually are, so I hope you've managed to get something done. If you're not finished yet, that's fine. Sometimes shit takes a while. Take your time, do it. You know, if you want to finish it now while listening to something else, I do have other videos like this. I do have other videos out. You could listen to my content. Other people also do similar videos to this. The first one I saw was from Peach's PRC. And yeah, so please do f try to finish up what you're doing. I don't want to be too harsh in these videos. I never want to like trigger anyone's PDA or anything, you know? But I also like, I believe in you. You can get your stuff done. You can finish whatever you started. You can start something new. I believe in you. You can do it all. And I've done it all. I'm done. I am I just have to like hang this up and shove some shit onto shelves. And that's the bit I never show you. Because it's, it's just quite stressful for me, actually. I organise everything in such a specific way. I, I don't want it to be seen on camera doing that part. So I won't be. So as always, I post here on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. My other content's autism focused, if you know around here, and this is your first one. I talk about being autistic all the time otherwise. But as you heard, there's going to be more fun stuff. I post on TikTok daily. I post on Instagram sporadically. 